done. Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and uh, today I got something done. So I wanted to show you guys what I got done and um, kind of, you know, walk you through everything uh, that I did. So this might be a long video, I don't know, but, um, you know, stick in there with me and uh, just kind of see how I did everything. Um, I'm going to try to present everything. If I miss anything, obviously comment below, questions below. Um, so yeah, I look forward to talking about um, these particular things that I've installed. So, uh, and if you saw my last video, you probably know what this is. So let's go ahead and let's get to it and start checking it out. So here it is, got it all installed and it's looking pretty good if you uh, asked me. Uh, so let me walk you guys through some of the things on this thing. You know what, I'll start at the bottom, the drainage. The drainage, um, it wasn't too difficult to install this. I basically got some uh, rain gutter obviously, but then I have a downspout and stuff, and it goes basically right into my sump tank. And then I have it coming over here, uh, which I could add on by the way. If I added another post, I can add on more grow towers. Um, so anyways, it comes over here, goes all the way to the end, and it basically, I tied it in by screwing it in over there. See that? And you know what I'm thinking about doing is all these edges, just to make sure, it hasn't leaked yet, but just to make sure, I'm gonna probably silicone all the edges. And you got one there, you got an elbow here. Sorry about the shadows. You got an elbow here, right? And see those lines. So I'm probably gonna bead those with some silicone. And you have one more way over there. Uh, I also am holding the, um, the uh, downspout in place with that little screw. See that in the back? So that holds that piece on so it never falls off. So the only way to for the water to leak is to leak down this and into the sump tank. <clears throat> so that covers the drainage. Now, the um, I guess we can go ahead and talk about the how I put up the, the basically the post. So uh, I did, there was brackets already in the the uh, you know this concrete or this brickwork, um, but the only thing is is that it was so old it just wasn't doing the job even with all the bolts and stuff that I got in there. So I bought some L brackets, and I basically um, drilled in through the brick here, and I got these little I don't know what they're called, but basically they go down in there, and as you tighten that bolt there, it opens up in the hole. So it basically tightens in the hole. Um, so when I did that, um, that really tied things together really well. Uh, that top board, that was a pain in the butt. So I did basically both posts the same way, okay? That top board though was a pain in the butt. So, um, cause I, I couldn't, I had to do it by, my, by myself basically. So what I did was I just put a screw in the bottom right there, which, uh, and gave it a little bit of room to, to basically swing it up. You know, so that's what I did. I basically put one there and then I swung it up and then I tied in that together, which was difficult. But anyway, I got it all tied in. And when I did that, that kind of gave me my starting point for getting this whole thing level. So that's when I started to uh, add the rest of the hardware here and then tighten everything up. And now it's level. Um, so the other issue that I ran into, which um, I'm sure a lot of you guys won't think about until it's already upon you. So basically, I had to have this downspout or this uh, rain gutter go downhill. And so when you do that, the rain gutter or these uh, my grow towers, they're all five foot. So I had to basically compensate just a little bit to bring those down, each one down a little further, um, which wasn't too difficult. Um, my wife was there to help me on that part and uh, my son. Um, so yeah, so that's the the framework, and then we got the water work up there. And you know what? I'll start on this side. Sorry, this glare from the sun. So anyway, so um, as you guys know, that is the sump tank down there, and I can't wait to get this thing covered in wood, make it look really nice. But anyways, basically that is the T. The the basically the pump is right down there. So the pump brings the water up to this T right here, and it sends it to my fish tank and then it sends it to my grow beds over there that I have installed so far. I'm still doing these. Um, and so basically the water comes this way, 
Now I don't have that glued because it's over the water, so if it does leak, it doesn't matter uh, as long as I'm not losing too much pressure. But I did do that one, and yes, I know it was a very sloppy job, but I was in a huge rush to get this done. Um, so anyways, it brings the water over to here, and then I have a ball valve, and then I have another valve here, or not a valve, I have another um, fitting. Um, you know, in Home Depot, how you get that bl this black pipe with the, um, the black little hose and stuff, the drip hose? Well, um, this is in that area. It's basically, it's a loose fit, so like I can turn this uh, in and of itself, which means I can take this piece off. Um, so I can shut that off, take this off, and then blow out this whole thing if I want to, but I'll show you how I'm going to blow it out later as well. So anyways, then you have the rest of the uh, black tubing here. Yeah, and you're going to get a huge glare if I do that, so I'll take you to the other side here. And bear with me because I'm going to be climbing up brick. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. So, now, as you guys know, the tubing, the black tubing comes from down there, comes all the way up over the over there, right? And then um, I actually didn't use that drip line because it's very, very stiff. Um, this this line here, the drip line that comes in that from that department. So what I did was I actually got fish tank tubing, and this stuff is just really, really soft, um, and that basically allows me to manipulate this hose really a lot easier. And um, so yeah, I went with basically fish tank tubing. Now you can get it in black, you just gotta order it offline most likely. Um, so that is the inlet and basically if I ever need to really get this thing cleaned out if I can get a good shot of this there we go so I got this thing where I can just unscrew this in and um, blow out this whole this whole line if there's anything clogging it really huge you know badly so anyway so and then I can also tie into this and bring my grow towers this way as well I'm trying to think, was there anything else I needed to talk about? Um, well, yeah, of course there is. So I really want to know what you guys think about, you know, what I should plant out these things. Um, so I'm going to put some uh, options up here in the card area and um, just let me know what you guys think. Um, what should I plant in these? A, B, C, and D if I have a D option. Um, and let me know what you guys think out of those options. Um, obviously, if you have any questions, comments, or, or any of that, please post that below, you guys. Um, I definitely wanna hook, you know, hook up with you guys with these and really talk about these over time. Um, I know that the, the stuff that's in the, the, you know, inside the towers, the media, it has a really broad um, surface area. And so that's gonna really up my bacteria um, and my conversion of uh, ammonia into nitrites and then from nitrites into nitrates and nitrates basically turns the you know all that stuff into fertilizer for the plants and then you can grow really nice plants so um, yeah let me know what you guys think about these uh, what I'm gonna plant in them and then uh, comments questions below and I look forward to connecting with you guys in this so anyway like always you guys God bless you and uh, yeah peace